Hi folks, welcome to another episode of Tableau in Two Minutes. Today we're going to be showing you how to replicate an Excel pivot table in Tableau. Now, pivot tables are a pretty commonly used function in Excel. I've actually built one in Google Sheets here rather than in, uh, in Excel, but you get the impression. Basically, we have our categories defining the uh, defining the rows and the columns, and then we have all of our values in the middle with uh, typically grand totals if we want them, um, row banding, and then we have our filters in Google Sheets, they're shown over on the right hand side here. Um, in Excel, they're always shown just above the pivot table. Now, since pivot tables are a pretty common way of sharing data, particularly in a corporate environment, then the chances are we're going to have to replicate one as we work through Tableau, at least in some point during our Tableau careers. So let's go ahead and show you how to do that. I've connected to the same data source that I used to create that pivot table in the other workbook. Uh, it's some wage data, um, heavily anonymized wage data. So I'm not sure there's a lot we can get out of it aside from the original purpose of it. Um, plus it's not very big. But what we're going to do is we're going to essentially recreate the same sort of pivot table um, in a Tableau as we have in Excel. Let's go ahead and jump to our sheet here. Uh, the first thing that you'll note is that uh, a lot of our fields, particularly our um, category fields, have been identified as measures because they have ones and zeros in them. Again, with Excel, it doesn't really matter how those fields are defined in the data source. If it has ones and zeros and we drag it to a row shelf or a column shelf, it's going to behave like a category. If we drag it to values, it's going to behave like a value. In Tableau, we have to define that before we do it. So we're going to take... Um, everything through age down to union, and we're going to drag those from the measure shelf up onto the dimensions shelf. All right, so now we've defined them as dimensions. You can still do that on the fly um, if you need to once they've been added to the row and column shelves, but um, it's easier if you know that they're dimensions just to drag them over the dimensions to start with. Uh, so we had, let's go back to our pivot table, I'll show you here. We had education as our rows, and then uh, sex or gender as our columns. So let's go ahead and go back to Tableau here. We take sex, we're going to make that our columns. We're going to take education, we're going to make that our rows. And then we're going to take wage and drag it out into our values here. Um, you'll note that the default option here is sum of wage. I had average of wage on the other one. There you go. So if we just flip back to our pivot table here, you can see we're still missing the totals. So to add the totals, what we want to do is we want to go up to analysis, go to totals, show row grand totals, totals, show column grand totals. Um, and then if you wanted to, Excel also gives you the option, obviously, to uh, sum things up by subtotal. So we can do that too. Actually, if we just add, let's say... We wanted to add marital status under education. You can see we can now add, add all subtotals and it will add now a subtotal for those who made it through eight years of education, um, both those that are married and those that are unmarried along with the total line that combines them both. So you can see how we're getting towards a, a pivot table type format. Uh, one of the last things that we want to do is add filters. Uh, in our Google Sheets filter, we had sector and union both as filters. So let's go ahead and take sector and union and drag them up onto the filters shelf. Let's do those one at a time. We just want to select all values and then sector, put that on the filters shelf too. And then to show them on the sheet, all we want to do is we just want to click on the drop down arrow and then say show filter. And now we have our sector and our union filters over on the right hand side and we have something that is basically gonna function pretty much like an Excel pivot table. Okay, it doesn't look quite the same, but Tableau is a lot more flexible than Excel, particularly when it comes to ways to display data. But every now and again, you do need that pivot table type format. So that about does it for this episode of Tableau in two minutes. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. There's a link to the workbook and to the data description in the video description. Oh, data description. There's a link to the data in the video description. Uh, if you like what you hear and you'd like more Tableau tips and tricks, then please hit the subscribe button, subscribe to our channel, and we will see you next time.